Uh, LeBron James, I'm sure you've talked about him every five seconds with anyone you ever speak to. Am I right? Yeah. 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 So uh, why, why can't I be the next one? Yeah. Um, so first of all, do you think, we're going to talk, we, we know the whole thing about LeBron James is whether or not he's going to leave Cleveland or not. Be, um, and actually, most people say he will. I say there's probably a 5% of the population say he's staying. Mm. What are your thoughts? If so, and then if he is leaving, then where would best fit and where do you think he's thinking? Well, you know what? I really don't be concerned about where he goes because we're going to watch him wherever he goes. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to try to sit here and predict what, what's in a guy's mind. Mm -hmm. That's his mind. Whatever he wants to do, he does. He's done did a lot of things. He went to Cleveland. He went, he went to the championship with him and then went in the championship and, and lost. Then he went to Miami and he won two, two championships. Then he comes back to Cleveland and then the first championship ever in history. Mm -hmm. He's breaking every record right now. So I really don't care where he goes. I mean, it's his, it's his um, choice. Uh, people have to just sit there and look back. You don't know what's going through this guy's mind. We don't know. Everybody, he should stay yeah. in Cleveland. He should do this. He should go to the Lakers. He should go to uh, Boston. He should go everywhere. Let's just kick back and just see what happens. You know, and, I, and I'm not really worried about it. I'm not going to make your predictions mm -hmm. because I really don't know where you're going to go, you know? So everyone else, I think last well, last week, last Friday, we talked about Earl Boykins was on a, a radio podcast, and he said, oh, he's coming to Denver. I was like, is this just a, uh, a, a Ennis Cantor tweeted out something saying Cleveland and the leave in the middle was, was, was highlighted. So, but I mean, there's... The hard part is there's some people saying things, and it's fun to speculate, but then you don't want, again, as you said, go out there and just say what you think is going to happen. I, I mean, there, there was, there was, there's always a, a, a list, right? Who's got uh, Nick's in there, which I started to get hints like in January when he said, mm -hmm. I love playing the Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, you know, he likes winning there, but I'm not sure if he's going to play for that team because will he right. win there? Right. And also, is he is, is is he looking for a spot to go where, if you were in his place, if you're looking for a spot to get people around you or a spot to build something else? Like, you know, KD went to where something was built in a way and contributed. Mm -hmm. Would you want to build something around if you're in that position? Well, with a guy like him, he's already started dynasties. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He started dynasty at Cleveland. When he went to Miami, he started, he made he won a basketball championship because he made that team better. Dwayne Wade took the took the, the role to be the back guy because we had just won a championship in 2006 mm -hmm. and he was the man. Then they got Chris Bosch. Nowadays, this is what you have to do to build a team. You have to build a team because you have to you have to uh, compete with all these all these guys. But I think with with LeBron, listen, I mean he's already a great basketball. He's breaking all kind of records. Like I say, we don't know what's in this mind, this guy's mind. So what he's gonna do is best for himself. He's already told you guys he's gonna do family. That's what his family's gonna make a decision. Let's just wait and see what his family does.